Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is a tiny little Android computer called the MK802 or Android 4.0 Mini PC. And it's basically like a little Android smartphone or tablet, except it doesn't have a touch screen. Uh, and in order to use it, you want to plug in a HDMI monitor and maybe a USB keyboard and mouse. Uh, but there's another way to control it. Right now we've got a monitor plugged in, and I'm using an application called Droid Mote which you can uh, install on an Android phone or tablet. And now you can see I can move my finger around to change the, where the cursor is up there, and I can also even bring up a keyboard if I want. Let's go ahead and open the web browser, and bring up my mobile keyboard and use it to enter text. There's also a home button, so we can go back to the home screen, menu button to bring up menu options, and a back button to make things go away. Uh, there's a couple of different keyboard uh, droid mode modes here, so we've got uh, sort of up and down buttons, and you can see here that when I hit the, I've got a lot of glare coming from a bright window here, but when I hit the up and down button, it changes what we're looking at here, so let's go ahead and use that to switch from one application to another or a search and there's also a media player mode and so to show you how that works let's go ahead and open up yes file explorer the reason I'm opening yes file explorer is because that's where um, I can navigate to all the videos that I actually have on this device. So let's open a video. I'm streaming this over an internet connection from a, um, or a wireless connection from another computer. So it might take a moment to start the video. But once the video starts, we can go into the media player mode here. And we should be able to pause, play, and adjust volume and other things. There's also a gamepad view, uh, which I don't actually have any games installed right now that would take advantage of the gamepad view, but you can see that I can use it even in the media player to skip ahead and back. But if you're playing games that require a, a remote, this could come in handy. So uh, overall, there you go. That's a quick look at Droid Mote and how it works with the MK802. Uh, it's uh, the server application that you install on the MK802 is available as a free download from the Google Play Store. The version that you run on your phone or tablet costs about $2.54 last time I checked. Um, out of the box, the MK802 with the default firmware doesn't seem to run properly with this, but the folks at the uh, mini and forums are hosting an alternate version of Android that you can install, um, and instructions for how to do that, which actually refer to lilliputing.com's instructions for how to do that. Uh, so basically what you do is you download this uh, Android 4.0 update that adds support for Droid Mode, and then you just install the Droid Mode software. So for about 250, you can turn your existing Android device into remote control, um, that lets you use the MK802 on a TV, on a monitor, on something else without plugging in a, a mouse and keyboard, uh, or even with a mouse and keyboard plugged in if you just want to be able to use a remote control for playing games, controlling videos, or navigating through the interface. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing and a quick look at Droid Mote and the MK802.